athletic group. Uh, the first floor focuses, every floor really stands on its own as a museum. This floor focuses on the foundations of Judaism. Right? That means if I ask you what it's like for you to be a Jew or what are the foundations of your Judaism, if I ask the rabbi what are the foundations of your Jewish life, if I ask a thousand different Jews, I'm going to get probably 5,000 different opinions, correct? Mm -hmm. But there is a frame of Judaism, and we wanted to find the one thing that, or the few things, that kind of the themes that kind of are threaded through. And those are the themes that we put here on the first floor, the foundations of Judaism. Um, it's divided into two areas where we have, first of all, the text, right? We have the text, the themes are the text, the Holy Bible, uh, um, Shabbat, and we'll, we'll reach all of them. Shabbat, the concept of the covenant, okay? uh, uh, life cycle events, so bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah, marriage, burial, and the uh, year, the annual calendar, the holidays, okay? So those are the main themes that are uh, that we found that continue or, or kind of a flow through all different types of Jews. And it's divided really into two areas. So we have the covenant here, but it's all translation into different, into non-Jewish texts at the end of the day. Starting with the Vulgata, which was one of the first translations of the Bible into Latin. We have a translation into Braille. Okay. This is not the full Braille, not the full uh, Bible of Braille, because that would be many uh, books. This is just one section of it. Into Arabic, into Mandarin, into Gez, which is the holy language that was used in Ethiopia starting in the 16th century. We have Martin Luther's translation, you know, the founder of the Protestant um, religion from the 16th century, the translation to German. So we can say that this is a universal Jewish foundation theme. Okay? This starts in, as a Jewish theme, and it was given as a present into the world, okay? into the greater universe. Let's continue, and we'll see the different themes that are the people of the book. And in the center of the museum is the foundation of Shabbat. And it's not Jews who have kept Shabbat. Um, and what do we see here in the Shabbat display in our museum? What does this look like, first of all? What's happening here? What kind of image does it look like? Constellation, interesting. So it looks kind of like the, a picture of the stars. Maybe if you open your camera frame for too long, it kind of smears together. Any other ideas? What it looks like? An ultrasound, okay? An ultrasound. The female, uh, the female uh, artist, Hadassah Goldbeck, an Orthodox woman from Jerusalem, was pregnant when she came up with the idea of what to create here for Shabbat. She was already approached by the museum. We knew that we wanted her to do something. It was taking her a very long time to come up with an idea of how to create, how to present Shabbat. She was on the bed getting a sonar exam of her baby when she thought of this idea. And she said, what is Shabbat all about? Shabbat is about creation. It's about sealing the creation of the world after the six days of creation. Shabbat is also about an opportunity to look inward and create your soul and focus on your soul. Shabbat is about waiting for six days until the arrival of that resting day on, on, on the seventh and just like that, we wait for 40 weeks, nine months, for the baby to be born, that act of creation. And therefore, we, you know, uh, it was, okay? We had pictures of women in separate parts of the museum, but there was a, a purpose here, right? It was, the museum was aiming, as I said, to include not only all parts and strengths of Judaism, but also to be aware of the fact that women were put aside even in, in the in, in, you know the images, right? Uh, you only see images of men, right? Um, there's a film here that I highly recommend you watching it.
חמאס הרשפטים מתכנן בסוף עם הולכה אחת, שמגיעה לסיבי חדה בימי תפיל, כמו הוא לא יודע. In the ancient period, the centers were the land of Israel, Babylon, and Alexandria, which is in Egypt today. Um, all throughout the ancient, this in the ancient world, it's all in the in the east, the eastern world. We're going to go from the ancient period to the medieval period. Not everything was a golden period that will come crashing through Spanish Jews in 1492. זה שלנו, נכון? כן.
shekels in a market, right? We spend three hundred million shekels in a museum, and then we put.